Aye. Is the discussion on garbage truck replacement option? A um, handful of weeks ago, we discussed um, what we wanted to do just initially from a garbage truck standpoint. Uh, you might remember that roughly over two years ago, we looked at our options then. We didn't take any action at the time. Um, we thought at that time, Bob thought that the truck would last somewhere between a year or two longer. We're now a year or two longer down the road. Um, and. Uh, it's one of the things that we need to decide. I'm asking for direction from the council tonight on what they would like me to do, uh, what they would like me to draft, uh, quite simply. I think you need to explain that a little bit. Is it in the packet? Specific. Uh, we got a read report on how we're doing, like with present fees, present tonnage, and all that. What are we working at? On if we're making a profit, or are we? Well, Actually, um, we, I believe we did discuss that uh, on a previous packet. We're making, we were a little bit short of the difference between what it would cost, well, not a little bit, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of $14,000 difference, I believe, between what it would cost on a lease payment compared to what we're bringing in. Um, I'm not asking for anything tonight as far as, as far as the cost structure yet. I'm just asking what direction you want me to take so I can have some kind of idea about what kind of cost structure to even build up. Whether we're going to be doing it, or whether, we, I mean, whatever action we're going to take. So just for review, for my curiosity here, the last time it was brought up to the council, I believe we were looking at uh, having hired them was... December of 08, I believe, is the last time we received we received bids back for the possibility of, a, of using a third party service, yes. And those bids came back in $13, I believe. Uh, actually, the bid for the for a degree of the service was, I believe the low bid was $8.75 is what the low bid came in at. But there were certain elements of the job that weren't covered as a part of the bid. Commercial. They didn't provide commercial service. Uh, we would still be the responsible party for collections and uh, and billing, uh, so all the administrative activity would still take place here at the uh, at the city office. Uh, yard waste would still be our responsibility. Um, special pickups. There was it wasn't really cleared up. We never moved forward, so I really never got a clear pitch on exactly what was covered under a special pickup and what wasn't. We would also still be responsible for the assessment costs from the landfill. Um, so you have to take those in addition to the $8.75 cost structure. One of the concerns I know at that time too was the fact that the commercial customers, about 70% of our commercial customers are men customers. They, they pay the minimum commercial fee, which is roughly $19 a month. Um, but one of the questions we ask the bidders is roughly what a, a, uh, an expected fee would be for a commercial customer. And the information we received back was considerably higher than uh, $19 a month. So the commercial, there's a good chance that about 70% of the commercial customers that are currently doing business with us would experience an increase in rates. And then there's a clause in there, if I understand, uh, too, that if gas prices and so on go up, they can reopen the negotiation and raise it up. Because so. at that time we were looking at, fee, uh, at gas kind of like we are actually right. now and uh, they would be able to renegotiate for a fuel charge, uh, 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 a gas fuel so surcharge. Too. Yeah. I'll just make a motion that we go out for RFQ request for quotes on pricing on a new truck and outright price and leasing. We're not going to look at any cost analysis for what we have for information to compare. Well, I think we need to look know, at that too. Look, look at what our financials are, and, and if there's going to be an increase, how much there will be, or you know, I mean, there's other ways to pay for the truck too. Yeah, but you're talking about not even looking at doing a pencil and looking at what we're, if we did contract it out. We're just not even looking at that. I can still how, do that analysis. I mean, how, how many thousands of dollars are we going to spend doing that? Well, we don't need to spend any more. We just need to make an analysis and put it down on 
flashlight on paper so we can see it. Adam, can you do that? We did that a couple of years ago. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can do that. I mean, that wouldn't, and to your comment, Jim, that really wouldn't affect my ability to do RFQ. I can no, still no, develop no. RFQ. No, we need to look at, at the whole picture. But I can do a cost analysis for it. <coughs> so that I'd like to see that picture. picture. Does that need to be in the Because I know a lot of other towns I would, like to, I would like to amend the motion to at the same time do a cost analysis. Well, it's Jim's okay. motion. It's Jim's motion, so okay. he would have to amend it. Can well, we I could have made an amendment to the motion. Can we, does it have to be in one motion or can we do two? Actually, technically, he could ask for a second motion for that purpose. Yeah, good. Can it's sure. a part of this issue. So I'm ready to act on Jim's direction. motion. Yeah. I'll, I'll amend mine to do the RFQ plus the cost analysis. Is there a second to that motion? Yes. Call for a vote. Councilman Brenny? Yes. Frederick? Yes. Broker? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you.